right, so today we're going through a posterior chain workout. So we're gonna do some back movements and we're gonna move on to hamstrings and glutes. I'm gonna start off with pull-ups because I liked them last time from Harry's session. I hadn't done them in ages. I think not even since lockdown because then I just got caught up on the machines again. So um, I'll do one set. I can still do body weight, which surprised me. So I'm gonna do one set body weight. That'll be my top set. And then I will take some weight off, do some assisted for a higher rep range. Um, then I'm gonna go into chest supported rows. Then we'll move on to some hamstrings and glutes and finish off with some delts. mornings on the Smith machine. Um, usually I would do something like a dumbbell RDL but I'm sick of loading my hands with that much which is the same reason why I'm skipping the lunges today. So we're going to just use the Smith machine. A um, few points with this one is we want minimal knee bend as always. We kind of just want to keep a vertical shin. So as you're going back focus on taking that tailbone back and then focus on bringing the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Um, try to keep a nice strong brace and make sure that you keep consistent with your range of motion in between each rep. If you have stoppers, this one doesn't, but if you have stoppers, you can put them where you want to so that that kind of like makes sure that you've got the same range of motion rep to rep. Um, but I'm just going to wing it. I'm gonna put my belt on. Because I've got, I found out the other day, I got a DEXA scan done, and I have osteopenia on my lower back. So, I kind of feel it. I don't know if I consciously just feel it more now, or my back is actually sore and I'm paying more attention to it. Um, but essentially they just think it's like, because I had an eating disorder for so long, my estrogen was bonked for so long, um, that it's caused a little bit of osteoporosis. That's fun. So, we'll call him 
name this guy? <laughs> said that, yeah. Um, uh, said not to trust a, someone who uses PEDs but looks natural. Now I'm a female. One, he doesn't know what PEDs I use. So even if I was using super physiological ranges all the time, wouldn't it be a good thing to still look like you don't use PEDs as a female? Like, I don't want an enhanced jawline or anything like that, so I just, I don't understand where he's getting at with that one. I think I win. just finish off on we did the the good mornings getting the hamstrings their length and range then we did the glute drive getting their glutes and their short and range going on to some single leg leg press to finish off the lower portion of this workout I guess um, and this is just going to target the glutes throughout their entire range so we're getting a great deal of range of motion here um, and then we'll finish off with some dumps. One more set here. Darian's gym bag. Firstly, my drink. Always have my drink because I need my carbohydrates. I have my belt. To be honest, I don't use everything in here, so it's been a while since I've gone through my bag. I have my beanie because I wanted to wear my beanie today and then Sean told me not to. I have my cuffs. So these are my smaller cuffs. These ones I got from the UK, the one MRI. Being someone with a, sorry, MRI, MR, 
Um, being someone with small wrists, these are the most comfiest that I could find. So those, worth your investment if you want to ship to Australia. Knee sleeves, these are my bigger cuffs. For when I do glute kickbacks, they're savage. These are my wedges for when I do heel elevated stuff. And because they're rubber, like they don't slide on the floor, which is nice. <laughs> Rehab that I never do. A band for the hack squat. Worst part's gonna be putting all this back. Pulling strap for anything where my wrists have to be loaded, so any kind of pulling movement or like an RDL or something, always use straps. You don't want your grip to be the limiting factor in your ability to scale up intensity. I tell my clients this all the time. I feel like I should just have it on recording. Well, now I do. What's in this one? Oh, these. <laughs> Ali was making fun of, this, fun of me for this before. These are all my tripods. Um, because I'm addicted to Amazon. But to be fair, like I usually, I had to bring my tripod today, whereas usually I've got some in the house and then some in my bag. And these ones, this one like sticks to everything. So it's good. Headphones, keys, <laughs> disinfectant that I never use. Chewy phone, logbook, deodorant, hairbrush, and chalk. That's everything. That's why my bag's so big. 